I'm going to be deep diving and talking about some Resident Evil Village. Listen, what's good, video world? Listen, man, we're going to deep dive into a bunch of things about the Resident Evil. Uh, they just premiered and just showed some things. We got new Resident Evil coming to Netflix. We got even like a little mini game series that comes with the game. We even got a new feature. Uh, well, not necessarily a new feature, more like a new mode. Mercenary mode is back. Let me deep dive into a bunch of this stuff. I even took a little couple of notes over here. You know what I'm talking about? Shout out to the team. We took a couple of notes over here for, just for Resident Evil. Had to. Uh, one of the things I want to speak about first, because it's fresh in my mind, is I was a little bit confused about this Resident Evil Versus. Now, the thing is, it comes with Village the game, but for some reason, let's say if you're buying it for the PS5, uh, the versus comes for it, it. It's a PS4 version. You get the PS4 version of the game. That is kind of weird. They may change that up later on. So, I'll give you another breakdown example. Like if you buy the PS5 version, you would think you would probably get the PS5 version of the versus game, but you actually don't. That's kind of weird. Don't really quite get that. Cool thing is about versus is you know what I'm saying. Um, no, the graphics is a little bit different. It's like more like a comic book almost. Uh, it's third person, which is good in my in my eyes. Uh, the other thing is when you uh, like it's like an open world type fighting. You all versus, just I guess it fits the name. You're going against uh, people you play against, and they turn into zombies. So you get to play as the zombies, and you get to play as one of your favorite Resident Evil characters. So I think that's pretty cool uh, to have versus coming alongside Village. Now let's deep dive into this Village, yo. Listen. I got the demo on five ready to go. So the graphics is amazing. I'm a really big Resident Evil fan. And the only thing I had, the only problem I have with this village game is the fact that it's first person. And I mean, I had to break down and get it. I mean, I had to break down and get it. I don't know. But um, the thing is, man, by being first person, that really, got, you know what I'm saying? That really kind of gets you immersed into the game and, it's kind of like uh, put you in the mind of Outlast a little bit. Uh, Outlast was a pretty cool, scary game, but Resident Evil to me belongs in more of third person setting. But since the success of Resident Evil 7, you know, they had to bring it back. And going back into other Resident Evils, we are about to get Resident Evil 4, not a remake. I wish it was a remake, but Resident Evil VR. Yo, listen. They think they slick. I gotta let the hat on. Because I actually meant that for all the people that's viewing it on video. I actually meant to let the hat on on Resident Evil when I talk about it with somebody love, man. It's so with the Resident Evil 4 VR, man, that's gonna be crazy. You hear me? It's gonna be crazy. Now, what they're trying to do, they're trying to get people used to the whole first person thing, and which is again, I hate it. But I love Resident Evil 4. So, and it's going to be available for the Oculus or whatnot. So, and you know, VR technology, man, is getting even much better and better by the second. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so, for Resident Evil 4 to be in VR, the graphics may not be, you know what I'm saying, uh, so, so much high. But the gameplay, and it's just, it, it, it's like a warm up game for Resident Evil Village. And I really feel like they're trying to get people used to the whole Resident Evil being in first person for this point forward. You all love Resident Evil 4? We're going to put it in a VR first person only mode. It's the 25th anniversary for Resident, for Capcom, man. And I was hoping that, hey, we can get a Resident Evil 4 remake. We didn't really quite get that. But it's all cool and handy and dandy, man, because we're getting it on VR. Now, the other thing is... I'm excited about here about a VR game, but uh, just future talk for a little bit. What if we can get, what if games get to the point, and I'm pretty sure they are, will they get to the point, something like a Resident Evil, interact with the AR world? Now, that's going to be amazing. But we're going to jump back into the village, man. Now, I wanted to, uh, I got here on the screen for the video viewers. I got here on the screen the, the Resident Evil site. So, we have a release date. I'm, I'm going to come back talking about Mercenary. I'm, I'm going to come back to that. We have a release date. We're looking at 5-7-2021. Uh-oh, that's like right around the corner. <laughs> so it's going to be pretty dope. Um, I don't really know too much about the characters. They're still, you know what I'm saying, um, 
they still got a little bit more to kind of show about the characters. One character we are familiar with is uh, Chris. And uh, Chris looked completely different in this game. The thing is about Village, I don't know. I think what they're doing with Village is uh, like a completely brand new story or something. I'm kind of interested to see how are they going to interact Village, bring it intertwined with uh, maybe the Netflix, the Netflix version of the Resident Evil that's coming to Netflix or... Uh, even other versions of Resident Evil games that's coming out in the future. Are they going to stick with this or are they going to, you know, like for a perfect example, Resident Evil 2 remake and Resident Evil 3 remake. Now, those are going back tied to the core of the original stories of the Resident Evil. So now we have Resident Evil Village, completely different storyline, kind of piggybacking off Resident Evil 7. We have a, a Resident Evil Netflix series, that's kind of piggybacking off of the other Resident Evil animated series that came out on Blu-ray, you know, whatnot, back in the day. That's piggybacking off of that. So this is available on Netflix, which is cool. And we have Resident Evil 2 and 3 remake that's taking you back to the core story, but redesigning the graphics and redesigning the world and introducing new features or whatnot. So my thing is... The next remake version of, of a Resident Evil, which will probably be four, hopefully we get a four, would uh, be great if we get it like the same way they brought us two and three remake. But the storyline is going back to the core. So I'm interested to see how are they going to do Village, where, like how the story is going to go, where they're going to take Village to the future or whatnot. I'm interested to see where it's going to go. And we even got the merch guy here. Not the same merch guy from Resident Evil 4. Like, uh, hello, I got it for sale, but this is a different merch guy. This this particular merch guy, for those videos that's here uh, seeing it, this is the merch guy here. This merch guy here, got, look, like he got what you need. He saves some stuff. But um, I don't think he's going to be as cool as the old merch guy in Resident Evil 4. But we um, in Resident Evil Village, we have two locations. We have the village and we have the castle. Now, for the demo, PlayStation is going to get it, uh, I guess, ahead of time or whatnot. And we're looking at eight hours in the village and we're looking at uh, not so long in the castle. I think it was like 10 minutes. I got something on the board. I don't really quite understand that. But uh, it's something, I think it was a couple minutes in the village. I mean, in the castle or whatnot. But it's pretty dope. We got two different areas we need to play in the demo mode, which is dope for the video viewers. Uh, we're looking at the comeback system or whatnot. Yo, again, the comeback system is first person. But the graphics is amazing, jaw dropping to the floor. Like, whoa. Speaking of graphics, let me go ahead and jump right into it. The output resolutions. This is important because um, we have the Xbox people, <laughs> the most powerful console in the world. <laughs> well, for the Xbox people, um, it's still going to be running at uh, 60 frames. Uh, 4k resolution so you know it's gonna be okay it's not gonna be bad but the reason i say it's gonna be okay because i feel like every next gen game on playstation 5 and xbox series x need to be running in 120 hertz mostly uh most of all of the xbox games are running in 120 hertz some of the playstation still got to play a little catch up with that but the PlayStation just released an update that's in the other PlayStation podcast. Be sure to swing on over to the PlayStation podcast and check that out. I'll be talking about that. Um, they released the new update to where, you know what I'm saying, you can turn that 120 hertz off and on, especially for computer, uh, for computer monitors or whatnot that's running in 120 hertz, which is pretty dope. But for a game, a future-proof game like Resident Evil Village, needs to be already running in 120 hertz. Now, again, you know, again, 4K HDR is great. 60 frames. All that stuff is great, man. But I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, yo, games need to push, push that mark. They're going to do it. I guess I'm probably just rushing them. They're going to do it. But right now, a lot of the stuff is still like 60 frames, 30 frames, mostly 60 frames. But uh, we got, here's the output resolutions for uh, PS5 with the ray tracing on. We're looking at 4K HDR, 45 frames. Uh, PS4 Pro running at 1080p uh, 60 frames which is actually dope because it's running at 60 frames 
Um, but it's not necessarily running that 4K uh, checkerboard, which is okay because it's running at 60 frames. If you can get a 60 frame game to run really well on the Pro, especially a game that's about to, this game's not out yet. This is a, a new game. It's a 2021 game. So for it to be running 60 frames on the PS4 Pro, I salute y'all. Appreciate that. Um, we got Xbox Series X running at 4K HDR, 60 frames. We got um, Xbox Series X with ray tracing running at 4K HDR, 45 frames. The same exact frames for PS5. So for all that talk, Xbox is more powerful. Look, put your money where the mouth is. If Xbox is more powerful, why is the output resolution the exact same as the PlayStation 5? I'm a gamer. I love you both, but don't come at me with all that PlayStation blah, blah, blah crap when y'all guys are running the same output on a brand new game, a brand new triple A title game <laughs> that's coming to both consoles in the year 2021. But anyways, moving on <laughs> for Xbox series S looking at a uh, 1440p HDR, 45 frames It's actually pretty impressive for the S uh, series S. So it's pretty dope. And we can't forget, man, it's on a stadia. It's on Google stadia. Now, I kind of stopped speaking about Google Stadia because of, you know, I tested it out and I wasn't too much of a big fan of it. But for the mere fact that a brand new game like Resident Evil, really big game. This is a really big game for 2021 coming to uh, to coming to, to Google Stadia. It gives Google a little bit more hope to kind of stay in the race and continue to kind of do their thing. Because remember, um beginning of this year i think it was a bunch of articles and i talked about this on the podcast on previous segments before to where google stopped um they they stopped working on uh some stuff with the google stadia and that's that, that was key that was a key factor because it's like well what's the future of google stadia it's new but what's the future of it it don't the future's not looking so bright for google stadia but for the mere fact they're getting a brand new game like resident evil village hey i think it's pretty dope and uh i salute you know what I'm saying? Um, let's see what I talked about. Oh, the, the Resident Evil Netflix series. So, the Netflix series is piggybacking off of the anime series or the movies that came out before. Uh, I wish I had like a case or something to show it to you. Um, I actually got the Resident Evil 2. Uh, it's, it's piggybacking off of that anime series. So, to see them, you know, see this come out on Netflix is pretty dope. That's going to tie into another uh, conversation I want to speak about is the whole deal that Sony is running with Netflix because we got games like, uh, well, TV shows and movies per, per se. We have movies like the Uncharted movie coming to Netflix. We have um, other PlayStation stuff, uh, Ghost of Tsushima coming to Netflix. So we see PlayStation stepping into the realm of, okay, we see what y'all doing now. Y'all, y'all trying to partner with the big boys instead of keeping your own stuff. Because they had the PlayStation View. They stopped that. Y'all already know how I feel about that. Talked about that plenty segments before. But I see where they're going with it now. They was like, you know, we're going to shut this down. And we're going to partner with Netflix. Because they're a bigger platform than we are. So we're going to do that. Makes more sense. But um, for Resident Evil to be coming to Netflix. I think this showcase, what they did was pretty dope. Because they we have world premieres of Netflix series of Resident Evil. Which looks bananas. Looks amazing. Um, most of the games are even starting to look like the movie now. Still, I'm, I'm pretty proud of these guys for even making it look like that. But I'm to the point to where it's like, hey, let's get the games to look exactly like the Resident Evil um, anime. See, I have to call it anime because it's still colorful and whatnot. Let's get it to look like this, like exactly like this. No first person. You see how much I hate the first person. But still, we getting that. We we getting a Netflix Resident Evil Netflix series. We getting Resident Evil versus that comes with Resident Evil Village. You know what I'm saying? Um, and we also getting Mercenary. <sighs> Mercenary. Mercenary. See, it gives me hope for a Resident Evil Four remake because Mercenary was more popular in Resident Evil Four. Think about this. This showcase, and we're getting Resident Evil 4 VR. Think about this. This showcase showed us that they're bringing Mercenary Mode back, and they're bringing a Resident Evil 4 VR. Man, there is still hope for a Resident Evil 4 remake. Because if we can get a Resident Evil 4 remake, third person, don't give me no first person, <laughs> and they bring Mercenary back, 
listen, this all come threefold because the mercenary mode they're bringing into the village is first person. And it's going to do pretty. I'm pretty sure it's going to be it's going to be pretty dope, especially if they make it like it was four. Like if they made it like it was making it like Resident Evil four, it's going to be dope. So it's coming full circle. So if we can get a Resident Evil four remake with a mercenary. I got hope, man. And I'm really excited about this mercenary mode because of the mere fact that it's mercenary mode, man. And it comes, it was really popular on Resident Evil 4. And I'm hoping that they keep the same elements from Resident Evil 4, but add in some new stuff and new features. Like one new feature would be pretty cool to add in to where you can like play with other people online and y'all can play together to, to go through the mercenary mode or whatnot. That'd be pretty dope. Um, this is just a, a, like a quick wrap up of Resident Evil. We'll probably, I'm actually finna um, play this demo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So uh, stay tuned for more of that, man. I'm, I was pretty excited because I, I didn't even, I forgot about the showcase today. I was playing Call of Duty Warzone with the homies, man. And I seen the homie Hip Hop Gamer. Shout out to Hip Hop Gamer. I seen him um, about, to, about to talk about this. And I was like, oh, the Resident Evil showcase. Ah, stop what I'm doing. Go watch it. So I'm uh, very excited about that, man. But uh, Resident Evil Village, man, this particular showcase much better than the first one that they came out with. And they go, they go, they go make me buy it. They, they may make me buy it. They may make me buy it. Uh, but stay tuned for more and be sure to check out the main, uh, the, well, this is the main segment of the podcast. But shout out to the video people. Y'all get, to, y'all get some exclusive stuff here on YouTube. Be sure to follow the YouTube page, Mastermind RGTV. And check out the PlayStation exclusive podcast. Look, that's an exciting podcast. And I'm hoping to get a bunch of more people on there, some guests in the future. But stay tuned for that. And uh, follow me on Twitch to where every time I game, you see me you see me broadcasting. Period. Broadcasting right now. <laughs> check me out. We out. Mess from through mine. Game on, people. See you later, video world and audio world.